Today's move of the day comes from one of the greatest chess players of all time. So this was Paulson playing white, playing against the legendary Paul Morphy. So Morphy's black here and here he found a stunning continuation. So like always, I'd ask you to pause the video and try to find the move that black found here. In fact, not just the move, but uh, the entire combination is simply beautiful and brilliant. So go ahead, pause the video and try to find the move that Morphy played here as black. All right, so I hope you come up with the correct move. It's obviously not so difficult to find this particular move, but uh, Morphy in this particular position took about 12 minutes just to make sure that the entire combination was sound and uh, all the variations lead uh, lead it to checkmate. So the move that Morphy played was queen captures bishop. Queen takes f3. Now this was captured and was the continuation. Black gives a check with rook to g6. Now there's only one move for white that is to go in the corner. And here black continues with bishop to h3. So bringing in more attacking pieces. Now this is quite a serious threat. For example, uh, let's say you make a random move something like any random move something like bishop b2. Then the threat is clearly seen. Bishop d g2 check king g1 and bishop takes f3 is a checkmate. And that is why white has to react here. If you play something like rook to g1 there is a very quick checkmate with rook takes g1 king takes rook e1 queen f1 and that is captured that would be a checkmate pardon me for that that would be a checkmate so obviously he has to be very precise here and white moves his rook to d1 so making some room for his king and giving him the f1 square to go so bishop d g to check king to g1 how will you continue here in this position Black continued with bishop takes on f3. That's a very strong continuation. Now the king obviously cannot use the h1 square. It cannot go to the corner. So the king has to step on f1. And in fact, uh, in the game, Morphy played bishop to g2, but there is a much stronger move here. So this game was obviously analyzed by many great players who came after Morphy. And uh, Chernov, it was Chernov who uh, came up with it. Sorry, it was Zukertot who came up with a beautiful move here. And uh, he suggested that black Morphy should have played rook to g2. Let's take a look at this move. So rook to g2, this comes with a very strong threat of either capturing the pawn or simply rook takes f, uh, rook takes h2 and rook h1 mate. So a continuation for white can be queen to d3. But now there is a very cool check made up to rook takes f2. The king obviously cannot step here because of this rook. And he has to step to g1. Now there is a check. And no matter what he plays, he's checkmated. For example, king f1, there's the beautiful move, rook to g1, and that is a very pretty checkmate. Okay, so that's not working. King f1 is not gonna work. What about king h1? Even here, black has a very beautiful move, rook to g1. That is a double check by the bishop, by the rook, and it just cannot be dealt with. So that is a checkmate. Beautiful. So. Uh, rook to g2 was actually a crushing move, but in the game, Paul Morphy found a uh, probably the second strongest move, bishop to g2, which is not bad at all. And the king is forced to go to g1. Now, bishop h3 check, king goes in the corner. And what's the point behind this? Well, black plays bishop to f2, and this clears the path. Now, g1 square is uh, controlled by the bishop, and the threat is actually to play bishop g2 and with a beautiful checkmate so white has to be uh white has to defend this with a very desperate move that is queen to f1 but now white is black is simply winning after bishop takes rook takes and rook to e2 now we have a new target that is on the h2 square so it's very simple we just play rook at six move our bishop and capture the pawn on h2 and that is all so white continues with rook a1 rook at six as planned we are targeting the h2 pawn what if he tries to play d4 and attack the rook well we have the very simple move as morphy played in the game bishop to e3 this is a blockade and after bishop takes e3 this is where white resigned because morphy would have played rook takes h2 check king g1 and rook to g2 and that is a checkmate so what a killer game what a deadly game it was specifically the whole combination with uh, queen takes on f3 right over here so this was the move of the day and hope you enjoyed this do like and uh, share my youtube channel uh, my youtube video and do subscribe if you are new to this channel more videos are on the way